Jennifer Fry, and I'm a PhD student at McGill University in the Department of Natural Resource Sciences, and I work with birds. So I'm a behavioral conservationist, and I introduce you to MBO, the McGill Bird Observatory, here, and we are on the island of Montreal, it may be hard to believe. We do bird banding, so we catch birds and put small bands on them, and we record their measurement and their fat and their age and their sex and get all this information. And we've actually seen 207 species right here at this location, the small 42 hectare area on the western tip of Montreal Island. Ouais, donc dans les oiseaux, c'est des, des petits joyaux de la nature, donc c'est des couleurs, des sons qu'on qu ne retrouverait pas si on n'avait si pas les oiseaux. Euh, juste de trouver un, un cardinal qui est complètement rouge ou un petit, une petite pargnine jaune qui est euh, jaune citron à voir, c'est très fascinant. Les, les sons aussi qui rajoutent, on se lève le matin puis c'est pas la même chose si s'il n'y a pas d'oiseaux. Euh, c'est aussi des animaux très importants, ils font partie de la chaîne alimentaire, ils vont nourrir d'autres animaux, ils vont manger des insectes, ils, vont, euh, ils font partie d'un écosystème qui ne marcherait pas sans, sans toutes ces parties. So we've, um, we've come to see the, uh, the birds being banded at the McGill Bird Observatory. Um, and the, we, the real reason why we're coming is because like, we look on bird watching and uh, just seeing the birds in the environment. They're just so peaceful and you wake up in the morning and you hear them singing and it's just, it's just a great feeling. A little yellow warbler which will be found nesting in a, in a shrub in a ditchy area in Montreal which is that brilliant yellow, almost a tropical color. I think very few people actually recognize that that, that is a Montreal citizen.